Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and this is the Matchbox 43A Hillman Minx, in Lesney's range from 1958 to 1962. Rare early versions were coated entirely in green before they were recoloured to blue-grey with an off-white roof. The later issues had a more turquoise shade of the blue. This one I presume from the clues left on the interior was a blue-grey version. It has been repainted by a previous owner in thick hobby paint, but the exact same colour scheme. I'm going to stick with the pale blue, grey and off-white colour scheme for my restoration. The paint masking applied by Lesney is actually quite close to the real car, unlike some of their other castings. Here is an image of an unpainted model Minx, and here is an image of a 1956 Series 1 Hillman Minx on which I believe the model is based. The Minxes were modified year on year, with a Series 2 launched in 1957, Series 3 in 58, 3A in 59, 3B in 60, 3C in 61, then oddly Series 5 in 1963, and finally Series 6 in 1965. For whatever reason, there was no Series 4. The Series 1 casting was initially fitted with grey metal wheels, but these were changed to grey plastic prior to the change in the body colour from blue-grey to turquoise. I removed the metal wheels from the axles using a set of locking pliers to flatten the crimped ends. Axles were crimped on the casting through to the final couple of issues on the turquoise car. It had hand-applied silver trim on the bumpers, grille and headlights, while the tail lights were trimmed in red. Now I have all of the component parts laid out, I can begin by removing the surface rust on the axles. I use my battery drill with the axle placed inside and brush them up against some sandpaper. I also give the metal wheels a brief rinse in warm soapy water. They were in good condition to begin with. Now I pour on hot water to strip the paint using caustic soda. It's always very satisfying to remove the coating on repainted models, since the water will always turn a vivid colour, whereas with models that haven't been repainted, the water will usually remain clear. Hillman Motor Car Company were founded in the village of Wrighton on Dunsmore in England in 1907 by successful bicycle manufacturer William Hillman. In 1928, Hillman was acquired by the Roots Group, who owned or would go on to own Humber, Singer, Sunbeam, Carrier and Comma. They would later go on to be taken over by Chrysler, and I discussed this in my 21C Comma Bottle Float video. The Hillman mark was discontinued when French automaker Peugeot bought Chrysler's European division in 1979, and Peugeot still owned the rights to the Hillman name. The original Hillman Minx was launched in 1931, a very conventional car, it had a pressed steel body, an 1185cc engine and 30 horsepower. Production continued with minor changes through the 30s, through the war years and into the post-war years. The Minx was largely unchanged until the more modern looking Mark III launched in 1948. It wasn't until the following year that the engine was uprated to 1265cc in the Mark IV. A new overhead valve engine went into the 1954 Mark VIII, which was now 1390cc in capacity. This engine continued with the new series of Minxes, known as the Audax Minx, which was designed by the Roots Group with the help of the Raymond Lowy design organisation. Here I've taped off the off-white roof and rear in preparation for painting the remainder of the body. I used clear coat before applying the colour. The Series 1 Audax Minx, on which this model has the closest resemblance to, launched in 1956, and subsequent facelifts were given series numbers, as I had run through earlier. Engine capacity increased from the 1390 to a 1725cc unit by the Series 6 Minx. Both manual and automatic transmissions were offered, with the manual available in column or floor shift. The Roots owned Singer Gazelle and Sunbeam Rapier were variations on the Minx platform, while some models were rebadged for export using the Sunbeam and Humber marks. 
Minxes were imported and assembled in New Zealand and badged as the Humber 80 and 90. It was available in Australia as the Series 5A with a more powerful 1592cc engine. In addition, the Audax Minx was built by Isuzu Motors in Japan under license as the Isuzu Hillman Minx between 1956 and 1964. They produced their own estate version called the Isuzu Hillman Express. A new Minx launched in 1967 but fizzled out of production in 1970. So there was a lot to talk about in this episode. Here's a reminder of how this messy repainted Minx looked to start with. The original owner had done a reasonable job at repainting, but since it's been scratched up, while the paint in some areas was thick and lumpy. So I have stripped it back and given it a more subtle, clean look. So pass me the ketchup, this Minx is now looking saucy. The Tamiya Corsa Grey has an ever so slightly blue tone, so while it may not exactly match the image of an unmolested model from earlier, I think it's fairly close. Better still, I think the two shades really complement one another. The divide between the roof and the side panels is really crisp, probably my best two-tone work yet. I've re-chromed the bumper and filled in the tail lights with red, and I've touched up those axle ends. The front end didn't miss out on the detailing either, and I think the chrome really suits this casting. Of course, I had to pick out the badge too. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Check out my Instagram for regular updates, and visit my Patreon to become a member and preview next week's project. That just leaves me to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.